hey everybody I thought I would do a little bit of vlogging tonight just to kind of tell you about the recent craziness that's been going on at our house sorry I'm in my room and um, it's kind of hard to film in here but um, so we have had some sickness running through our house and it has been insanely crazy around here um, so I'm gonna start at the beginning on Thursday we came home from the grocery store and cash felt warm and um, took his temperature and it was like 101.2 so it kind of had me worried but I gave him some Tylenol it came down before bedtime back to about 98.6 which is normal you know it was around 98 so um, so I figured you know he's fine he'll be alright um, put him to bed he went to bed and he woke up multiple times and I was thinking, oh, okay, he only wakes up when he's teething. He only has a hard time sleeping when he's teething, so it, you know, must be teething. Fever, waking up, it has to be. That's the only explanation. Well, then, um, Friday, he had a fever on and off all day. He wasn't, um, messing with his mouth. He wasn't acting like he didn't feel good. He just, um... Well, he was kind of acting like he didn't feel good. He just didn't act like anything specific was bothering him. He didn't have an upset stomach. He wasn't coughing. He didn't have a stuffy nose. None of that. Just had a fever on and off all day. So, he did pretty good. I just kept Tylenol in him. and um, He pretty much did good all day. Was a little bit whiny um, and didn't nap very good. So, I thought, well, he'll definitely see sleep good tonight because he didn't nap very well. Well, I put him to bed that night and he like woke up about 30 minutes after I laid him down screaming and crying. And Cash is such a good baby. He never ever does that. So I know if he does, something is really wrong. He would not go to sleep all night. Um, stayed up with him until about 2 and then he finally slept for a few hours. Got back up at like 3, I mean um, about 5 and um, and then up again at like 7. So I was pretty tired. Um, I, but I called, um, the, what night did we take him? Oh, we took him to the ER actually on Friday night when he wouldn't, um, sleep good. And when he was like screaming and freaking out, we took him to the ER at about 11.30. Got home around 1 and then he went to sleep from there. Got up at 5 and then 7. Um, and they said they couldn't really think of anything that would be wrong. Um, so we were all kind of confused. They gave us a prescription for an antibiotic and a nausea medicine because they said at that point it could have gone two ways. It could have either gone like a cold route or like a stomach bug route. So they gave us both of those to use at our disposal. I went ahead and got the antibiotic filled and went ahead and started giving it to him because obviously if he had a fever that was that high uh, his body was trying to fight off some kind of infection um, so then Saturday he felt really bad and Sunday he felt pretty bad well um, Sunday morning I woke up and had a sore throat and I was like oh great you know this must be um, something that I've caught from cash well then, um, as Sunday rolled on, I started feeling really, really sick. My back hurt really, really bad, and it felt like a kidney infection. I had pyelonephritis a few years ago, which is like a really bad kidney infection that can um, cause kidney damage or loss. Um, luckily, we caught it in time, and I was hospitalized for about a week, and I got to keep my kidneys, and nothing, you know, was really wrong with them. But I thought that was what it felt like, so we rushed to the ER. And they said, Carrie, your urine analysis is normal. Um, and he said, you know, is some, anything else bothering you? And I told him about my throat and he looked at it and he said it looked terrible. And that it looked like strep and that that was what he was going to treat me for. So I'm assuming that's what Cash had. Well, now it's Tuesday today. And my first day of school was yesterday, so I had to go with strep to class um, and I stayed, like, far away from everybody. The, the good thing is nobody in my class except for one older man has kids. So, um, that was something that I was scared of. But, um, so I stayed away from everybody pretty much. 
and I still feel terrible, but now I'm having an allergic reaction to the antibiotic that they gave me. My hands are so sore, and like my skin on my fingers and stuff is ripping. It's like um, blistered and red and splotchy. I have like a little fine rash like all over my body, and it's absolutely terrible. So I feel awful, and oh, it's been terrible, but luckily I've got some new medicine, and hopefully that'll kick in. Um, I hope all of you guys had a better weekend than I did and are having a better week than I am. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, even though it probably isn't very interesting to you. Um, but I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks, guys. Bye.